What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Rorik here bringing you another Champions War League war. We got Unfair Warfare going against only the Brave in CWO Elite 15 v 15 war. All Town all 13. As you can see, it was a very, very close war. 36 to 36. 92.33% destruction by Unfair Warfare. 92.13 destruction by only the brave very close war on percentage and stars so let's dive into some of the attacks we've done from outside stay tuned here we go we've got human behavior going in on Promptheus going in with the Queen Charge Hybrid. Let's check it out. Got a Siege Barracks there. Sun the Queen up there from 12 o'clock. Baby Dragon creating that funnel as well. Wallbreaker coming in for the test on that corner wall there. The rest of the Wallbreakers coming in. There we go. They break that. No, they don't. Don't get the wall compartment. Queen walks off, unfortunately. They end up having to use the jump because their wall breaker failed. Wizard down there on the collector on the left hand side there. Queen goes in for that town hall. Just out of range on pulling this clan castle's troops. Barely out of range. As you can see there, she's just out of range of pulling that clan castle troops. There they come. Got some archers and a couple of ice golems coming out. And here we go. Let's see where they put the siege barracks down with the king. Looking pretty solid so far. There we go. King is down there around the 4 o'clock area. Valk there as well. Here comes the hybrid. Hasn't put the siege barracks down just yet. There goes king ability down the bottom there. Queen ability also gets popped up the top there. Royal champ coming in with the hogs and the miners into the core of this base. A few hogs are on that scatter shot. Pre-healing as well while those hogs come up. Everything is targeting the Eagle Artillery. Eagle Artillery goes down. Queen's basically useless at this point. She's just going to hit a wall for a little bit. There goes the Warden ability. Royal Champ is taking out the other scatter shot. There goes a Rage spell as well. Freezes on that scatter shot and single target Inferno. Going to have to pop the Royal Champ ability here. There it goes. Another freeze on that Inferno Tower as well. As you can see, base is absolutely crushed. Very nice hit coming from human behavior. We'll go ahead and we'll speed that one up so we can get into the other action from this war against only the Brave. So let's check out the other hits. All right, we go. We've got Mini Sick going in on Ank and Anakit. Let's check it out. Also, guys, going in, they're going in with the. Yolo Trone. So we've got the Slammer there with the clone spell. Starting the Suey there at 3 o'clock. King up there around the 2 o'clock area. There goes Queen ability. Let's see which way the King goes. King should go for the Arch Tower or that Mortar next. He goes for the Mortar. The Slammer's coming in. I'm gonna get the Slammer into this Queen compartment if they can. Two E drags in behind. You don't see that too often. In we go. CC troops come out as well. E drag loons coming out of that slammer. I'm gonna guess another E drag got cloned in there. It certainly did. So they got four E drags in the core of this base, looking at pretty OP at this stage. Gets a few chain lightnings. Gets a scatter shot. Gets the eagle artillery. One of them locks onto the enemy king. Lalo coming in here from the three o'clock, from the six o'clock, five to six. Some more coming in at seven. Looking pretty solid at this point. Everything's just going to path around this base in a nice L shape. Some more in coming in from the nine o'clock. Looking at very solid at this point. Warden ability over that town hall. Loons get slowed a bit from the town hall ice ability thingy. There's another haste. A few loons path for that single target inferno. Gets a loon drop on the enemy royal champ as well. OP loons right there. Loons die out at this point. There's about a few left. 
rest is down to clean up here. But solid attack coming in from Mini Sick. And yeah, let's dive into some more. Alright guys, here we go. We got General Ruvs going in on Mika. Going in with the Yeti Minor hit. So you're starting off with the Yeti Bomb, Loon in front of it. Take Loon goes down. Don't think the Yeti's got the the blimp got in as far as they wanted it to. Probably wants to get into that town hall, uh, the uh, Inferno Tower compartment. Some Yetis, Yeti mites almost get that scatter shot. So let's see what happens here. Starting the Queen at the two o'clock area. Loon in front, scouting for any sneaky near mines. Baby Dragon there assisting as well. Royal Champ with an Ice Golem down there at 3 o'clock. Clearing off buildings. Wizard in behind as well. Queen's going to make herself way into the core. She's going to take out that scatter shot. She's then going to switch on to the Town Hall. Town Hall will go down. Another Rage down there on the Queen. So she's going to path for the Wizard Tower next. Then the enemy Queen. And then she's going to deal with those two Ice Golems and the Witch that's coming out of the CC. King down there at the four o'clock. No, not the four o'clock, the seven o'clock. I'm gonna forget to have, how to tell time soon. All right, here comes the miners in from the five to six o'clock area. Looking pretty solid so far. Still got queen ability. There it goes. Miners path in for the arch tower, then the eagle artillery. Gonna have to pop. A queen is wall banging. There goes the warden ability. Queen takes out that multi target inferno tower. We'll go ahead, we'll speed this one up a bit. And as you can see, looking pretty solid at the moment. Last heal spell goes down over that single target inferno wizard tower. Queen assists the miners as well. But looking pretty crushed at this point. Very solid attack coming in from General Ruvs. And yeah, let's check out the last few attacks. Alrighty, here we go. We've got He Hung Low going in on a Breaker. As you can see, this attack was under two minutes. Going in with the Yeti Smash. Four Quakes and a Blimp. There he goes. Actually, eight Quakes even. So broke the first layer. It's a very, looking like a very solid attack coming in from he hung low is the first rage spell in the in the base pathing all those yetis king and queen and warden and here comes the late healers a quad quake the next part of this base barely getting that town hall trying not to activate that town hall too early unfortunately get an e-drag lightning chain on that town hall That expo went down. Queen is going to take out the town hall here shortly. There's the warden ability. Going to have to pop queen ability here. E drag over there at the two o'clock is doing some great work. He, he's going to get all those buildings down there. That wizard tower is not even going to take him down. Even though it's pretty low health, shouldn't have too much of an issue. Well, e, the e drag does go down. I thought he would have got a few chain lightnings. But doesn't affect this this attack. It's gonna be a triple. Very solid, solid attack coming in. Still got King ability as well, so looking really good. Go ahead with four times that. We'll show the last two triples to wrap up this video. Let's dive on over. Alright, guys, here we go. We've got Adam Jones going in. On their number 12 starting off with their warden walk up the top side pick it down there at the 8 o'clock clearing a few buildings going in with the Yeti smash got the five hogs so let's see what happens here got the siege barracks is the king at the 9 o'clock getting dropped down Warden's doing good work as well. Probably gonna put there's the ice golem. There goes the siege barracks. Siege barracks gonna come in with everything. Bowlers, Yetis are down. Queen and behind. Looking pretty good so far. 
Rage spell in that Town Hall compartment. The two Ice Golems and Archers come out of that CC. I think there's a Witch in there as well. It shouldn't affect this. Ice Golems might stall them a little bit. There goes the last Ice Golem. Another Rage there, right in the core of this base. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff paths out to get the enemy queen, but then paths back in. Everything has to hit through a wall. King paths for that eagle artillery. Everything else is going to path right into the core of the space at this point. Looking very, very solid. Some hogs there with the royal champion as well. Pops the royal champ ability. Enemy royal champ goes down. Go ahead with four times the rest of that. Very solid attack coming in from Adams Jones for the triple. Still a few yetis left up. Queen and Warden are still up as well. Very, very nice attack. We'll show one more to wrap up this video. Alright guys, last triple from this war. All six triples that were done in this war are in this recap. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's show off this last one. We got Riz T going in on I never triple. I wonder if he actually did triple. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Going in with the Yeti Bomb. Didn't quite get into that compartment. Not sure if he was meant to. But yeah, let's see what happens. So gets the cannon. Cannon goes down. Queen coming in from the 9 o'clock. There's a poison, there's a two, two ice golems, a couple of archers, and there's a witch in the mix as well. Witch is going to go down. Baby dragon down there helping assist as well. Making sure that queen goes down. So the queen's going to path down here in towards the town hall. Well, that's the plan anyway. So yeah, let's see what happens. Baby Dragon takes a red air mine. The other Baby Dragon takes a black seeking air mine. Let's see what happens here. There's a chance the Queen is going to walk. So has to put the jump there. That might have been the plan this whole time. So let's see what happens. There's the King down the bottom there as well. Another rage going on the queen. She takes up the town hall. Alright, let's see what happens with the hybrid. Hogs and miners will be coming in here shortly. There they go. Coming into the core of this base. Just going straight into the middle to where the enemy queen is. There's the warden ability. They get the queen in there as well. Looking pretty solid at this point. Let's see what happens. There goes a heal right in the core of this base. A few miners will switch to the enemy RC. She goes down. Got one more heal left. Royal Champion ability as well. No more spells left. Eagle Artillery goes down. Still, a, still the Royal Champion in the core though. She still has ability as well. Queen ability has been used. A single target Inferno is barely going to go down. It's on very, very small health at the moment, as you can see. But looking at pretty solid at this point. The RC must go back for that single target Inferno. It's literally one hit from going down. But yeah, looking very strong here. Still has ability. Pops it. Gets that Inferno Tower with the shield throw. Solid attack coming in from Risty. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to hit it with a like subscribe to the channel for more I'm doing a lot of war recaps along with a bunch of strategy guides um, a few attack, attack strategy videos check those out but yeah other than that hope you enjoyed this video comment down below if you like this content let me know um, what else you'd like to see on the channel but yeah don't forget to hit with a like subscribe to the channel for to see more of my content I also stream on twitch.tv slash so check that out. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.